as a friend said, it's like looking with your feet, mm. getting out there and giving yourself permission to really slow down. So I live in New York City. I live in a, quite a busy place. I'm, you know, being impacted by culture and everything all the time. But this was really a time to be much more cont contemplative. It was very important to me to look at the history of art. And um, I went to Ravenna and um, looked at the mosaics. And I think you can see when I came back, it, it sort of kind of just came out of me. It just, it was really incredible because I was more productive after, and it, it's really been an interesting, now it's, um, we're in 2019, but the energy of taking that time and giving myself permission, I'm still um, benefiting from what I saw. Each of us were lucky enough to be in this country. My grandparents were immigrants, just like most everybody else's. Came from Russia. My grandfather grew up in a little hut with a dirt floor, poor as could be. This country has been marvelous for our family, as it is for everyone who's lucky enough to be here. Well, we want to leave this place better than we found it. Just as those who came before us did a heck of a job building Pullman, Seattle, Spokane, Portland, you name the city across the country. Today, young people are facing, I think, more challenges than ever before. Why? Because a lot of things we're blessed with, like our smartphones, we're also cursed with. There's instant information about everything. And between Facebook and Twitter and Google and everything else, we're being told where to go, what to think, who's saying what. Okay. In my opinion, art is the last refuge where everyone that comes into this museum and every museum and gallery across this country look at art like this amazing Polly Applebaum show. And whatever anyone sees in this work is right, right for them. You know, we're on a university campus, so there are a lot of professors here that teach biology, math, science, technology, venoculture, animal husbandry, whatever. Well, in that math class, one and one has to equal two. You can't be creative and say, hey, teacher, I think it should be three. That just won't work. In the art museum, whatever you see, no one can say, hey, that's not right. So therefore, for me, art is a refuge. And I think it would be for everyone else that gets used to coming to museums. I know that I always feel refreshed when I leave an exhibition like this and face my problems like I have, like everyone else, with a bit better perspective. <laughs>